Participation in sport in England has fallen slightly since last year's Olympics, defying expectations that the Games would boost the numbers of those taking part. There's been a drop in 16 to 24-year-olds taking part in regular sport, and there are fewer women participating too. Natalie Perks has been finding out why. Inspire a generation was the Olympics tagline you couldn't escape, but England's younger generation perhaps didn't get the memo. Football has slumped to England's fourth most played sport, and even a British Wimbledon champion couldn't stop tennis's slide. What the Games have done is increase sports participation overall, and we need to remember that no host nation has ever managed to do that before. What we haven't managed to do yet is to get real growth in the numbers of young people doing sport across the board, and that's a big challenge. Go, 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 go! Specifically, it's the 16 to 25-year-olds, down by 51,000 since the same time last year. Ah, oh, that's not fair, you can't do that. The government has long been told that more has to happen at grassroots level to make a real difference to future generations. But it's very clear that girls represent a specific challenge. And that's a very tough nut to crack. Sports like boxing have seen a rise. Nicola Adams winning Britain's first female gold certainly helped. But the fact remains young girls drop out of sport faster than boys. 16 to 25 year old females are half as active as their male equivalents. And worryingly for the government, 1.8 million fewer women play regular sport than men. There's a multitude of reasons, self-confidence, self-esteem, body image, um, time and money. Uh, and, and sometimes, you know, we have children to look after as well. And, you know, you, you need to be able to place the children somewhere to play a game of hockey often or to, or to go for a run. Some sports are struggling more than others. Yeah. The last British woman to win Wimbledon says there's a wider issue around why some girls aren't picking up rackets. I think the expectations for a female sporting hero are different. A girl is supposed to be beautiful, she's supposed to have long legs and be very athletic looking and be, and she's supposed to be perfect. Despite role models like Jessica Ennis-Hill, sponsorship of women accounts for just 0.5% of the sports market in the UK. Experts argue without a fundamental culture change, a golden opportunity could be lost forever. Natalie Perks, BBC News.